What do you think? Is flirting cheating? Like my thing is there's a way to conduct yourself when it comes to business. Absolutely. There's a way to conduct yourself no matter what the situation is and flirting under any circumstances for me, for me is not okay because I deem it as disrespectful. Women flirt all the time and we don't jump on it. So it, that's on them. But if, we, cho but if we choose to flirt back, then that would be that's the problem yes. with, with, with my wife. She would be like, yo, I seen her flirting at you, but you don't got to flirt back. And every now and then somebody, somebody might say something and you can't help but to react a certain way. But I think it's important to try to fight it. Like, you know, like, you know, not try fight to, it. Try, try to fight it means like, you want it. Some men are suckers. Some men just hand out money because they have That's so much fact. of it. They just want to see a woman happy. And what you like that, fuck your smile. You here to do a job, like I tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're dealing with. You know what you're coming with. Ain't nobody spending no money just to see somebody smile. That's cat and you're going for the cap, right? We're not faulting nobody for wanting to do good. If somebody's helping you or, or taking you shopping, go ahead. But don't sit here and act like they're just doing it out of solely the goodness of their heart. Welcome to Eight at the Table. I am V Jada Blackwell, and today we have some very sexy, spicy topics to discuss. So go ahead, get your wine, get your tea, whatever it is that you need to get comfortable. But before we start the discussion, did you like, subscribe, and did you tell any of your friends? Well, we're gonna wait for you to do that. All right, we're back. <laughs> so let's get started. So today we're gonna be talking about if flirting is cheating. I have my lovely cast here. I'm gonna start to my left. What's up, guys? It's Chrissy. And to my right. Rico Hundo. And I'm here with my boy. Drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. S.O. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanessa. So Vanessa is our lovely guest. And we want to say thank you for coming thank here. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Yes. So tell us about yourself, Vanessa. What do you, well, so I'm 35. Um, You're a grown woman. Grown as grown I love as that. I love that. <laughs> I have a daughter. She's eight years old. Um, and I work for city government. So that's what I do in the daytime. Government? But what you do in the nighttime? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mom. I oh, all right. All right. Just checking. <laughs> okay. So since you are the guest, what do you think? Is flirting cheating? So I think it's tricky. I think it's like a multi-layer topic. While I don't think that is cheating, I definitely think that it can be the gateway to cheating. Right. Um, it depends on what your intentions are. So if I'm flirting, using my pretty girl privilege to get out of a ticket, I have no desire to really be with that person. I'm just trying to use it to my advantage. But if I'm jumping in somebody DMs, um, if I'm approaching you like that with the intention to be a different end result, then yes, I think it does become cheating because you have a goal, right? Has anyone ever flirted in front of you while you guys were together and made you uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That definitely has happened. Um, it didn't happen again, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> but what made it so you were uncomfortable? Were they trying to get out of a situation or benefit from something? No, or? no, no. It, it literally was just the flirty banter with another woman in my face, which I think is just completely disrespectful. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. So, so the flirty banter, if you're not in the man's face, is cool? No, that's still this. And that's, this goes, this is not just for a man flirting with another woman. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with a woman flirting with another man. If you know you're in an exclusive relationship, why are, you, why are you in somebody else's face? I mean, for a man, there is no category of when you should flirt or not. If we catch our woman flirting, mm -hmm. it's an issue. I if you if you tell me I flirted so you don't got to get a ticket, I'm going to tell you, take the ticket. You should have been driving better <laughs> because I'm not dealing with you taking time to flirt with nobody and then come and tell me that there's some type of reason upon why you did it. Because if I'm flirting with a female, you already know it's the intentions of it going down. <laughs> it ain't no playing around with you. But talking. if that's your intentions and that's your intentions, you can't speak for what my intentions are. I'm not, but I'm speaking from how your intentions affect me if I'm involved okay, with you. So, you know what I'm saying? So for me, I feel as if flirting can go too far. So if I'm flirting with someone, for example, if I'm flirting with one of you and then down the road, you one of you meet my man or something, I now feel like an inner embarrassment. Like, you know, I don't want you to think that 
you know, you have a chance with me in a way. And I don't want my man to feel like he has to be, you know, on edge when he's around people that I've been flirting with or giving the wrong impression to. So in a way, I feel like flirting can go too far and can, you know, like make relations seem like more than what they really are. So I feel like in a way you just shouldn't be flirting with people. Um, you know, like joking and flirting are two different things. I'm all for joking around and playing around. But when it comes to flirting, I always think of like, OK, if my man was doing this, I wouldn't like it. So I kind of feel like it's not cheating. But at the same time, it's just a form of disrespect. Definitely. But it's a gateway I, to it. I feel like every relationship I've ever been with with a man, they've always say that I'm so friendly. It's considered flirting. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I'm the type of person like I'm going to be like, hi, how are you? Like. So I feel as if, let's say I meet a celebrity and, you know, one day I want to, <laughs> one day I want to work with him. You never know. Real shit, sure, because I've done it before. Let's say one day if I come across a celebrity, I want to work with him. He might want to get in my pants, but, and he, he absolutely wants to get in my <laughs> pants, but I'm going to be nice to him and you never know where I could get with that person. But I'm not going to get where you want to no, get. Really. I think, but that's why I think it's <laughs> important if you're in a relationship, those are the you need to discuss those boundaries before you even get serious with someone. Because Absolutely. what you could consider flirting, I might not. So I think it's important. I think it's important to discuss that with your partner before you even decide to get exclusive. Discuss what the boundaries are. Vanessa, you're a grown ass woman. <laughs> Here it you goes. know when you flirt. You know when, when you exactly. I, didn't say, oh, I know when I'm As flirting. As a grown ass woman, you know what? Uh, there's no boundaries that need to be spoken about when it comes to flirting. We all know what flirting is. But people are different, and that's the point that I'm making. You might take that offense, somebody else might not care. So you can't speak generally for people. It and has to a, be. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I had to move over. I wanted to really look at you and uh, ask you this question. Let's chat. When you drive fast, right? Which I do, yes. Which you do, right? Mm -hmm. You can get pulled over, correct? Absolutely. But you could also not get pulled over. By right? not driving fast? Yeah, or or, yeah, or you, you can drive fast and not, and not get pulled over. The but the is. best way to do it is to not drive fast at all. So then you don't have any possible repercussions. See, my thing is anything that is disrespectful or could be seen potentially as disrespectful is cheating. Flirting, if you're flirting for financial gain, if you're flirting to get it out of a ticket, if you're flirting just because we're networking, there's a, there's a, and this is what I think, especially with what you're saying, women use flirting for business opportun opportunities too much. Does that go both ways or just like no, for women? Men you too. Feel like you can men, men, uh, men don't really flirt. I mean, I can't say they don't. Y'all flirt with your braiders. But no, no, no. I flirt on another level. Y'all flirt with your opportunities. Thank you. You're talking about business yeah. opportunity. He's not talking about, we, we already know men flirt all day long. Yeah. yeah. But okay. flirting for business opportunities, which I personally believe is always the scapegoat. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, he could possibly give me this gig or bring me over here. And I was just being in his music video. You know what I'm saying? But like, my thing is there's a way to conduct yourself when it comes to business. Absolutely. There's a way to conduct yourself no matter what the situation is and flirting under any circumstances for me, for me is not okay because I deem it as disrespectful. You know, flirting is cheating to me. I, I'll get a hundred dollars to pay that ticket or give you the hundred dollars to pay that ticket, whatever it costs. I so if you're out at a club, right. Mm -hmm. And, um, you about to like, you know, buy bottles or whatever. And this guy says that woman is beautiful. I just want to send her a bottle and go about my way. And, you know, you know, she like gives a little smile or like, like a thank you or whatever, you know, and you know, Thank he tries you. to, yeah, yeah okay, so, but like, Thank she, you, it's cool. Okay, but, you. you know. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you're That's it. accepting the bottle? Is, is you're accepting, accepting the bottle, bottle form of cheating? Yeah. No, because she. How? If, well, if, I'm, I'm going to answer how. <laughs> accepting a gift is not always a form of cheating, Whoa. right? Now, if I'm with my that. girl, listen, if I'm with my girl and somebody sends a bottle, I'm going to reject it because I don't need the bottle. If you're with your girl? What if yeah. you're by yourself? What you if a girl sends me a bottle? Yeah. I mean, if a girl sends me a bottle, it's a little bit different. Right? So, but, but, but she's look, flirting with but, you, but, and if you're accepting it, but, then you're uh, accepting the no, flirtation. Listen, accepting and reciprocating is different. We're not going to sit here and confuse the two. Women flirt, women flirt all the time, and we don't jump on it. So it, that's on them. But if, we, cho but if we choose to flirt back, then that would be the, the problem yes. with, with, with my wife. She would be like, yo, I've seen her flirting at you, but... 
you don't got to flirt back. That's the issue here that we're talking about. We're talking about flirting, flirting back. It's actually a current. So if so, I were to like go like this and be like, oh, thank you, that's flirting? <laughs> It all depends. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I mean and we're just saying here, but it oh, all depends. You. Like, like we always talk here, right? We're not talking about if we meeting each other and we're sitting on the couch and we're having a, a nice little talk and nobody's drunk and there's no music playing, there's no euphoria going on. Right. Yeah. But when the euphoria happens, that's what we're talking about. When it's euphoric and you over there and I'm flirting with you and I'm trying to get in your pants, as you would say, and you know I'm trying to do that. Period. If I send you a bottle, you don't. You already know what I'm trying to do, correct? Yeah. So you're accepting me doing that tip. But how you accept the bottle is what Rico was saying, which, which will let me know if if I'm getting somewhere. If you're accepting the flirting and if you're flirting back, that's where the problem. And occurs. I agree because I automatically know when a man is willing to like try to get me to take it to the next level, or when he's trying to like just go too far, you know, and, and I try to fight it as much as possible because, you know, we're all human and every now and then somebody, somebody might say something and you can't help but to react a certain way, but I think it's important to try to fight it, like, you know, like, you know, not try fight to, it. Try, you, try to fight it means like, you want it. No, 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 not necessarily, but you can't <laughs> help, like, being flattered. I've spent another guy's money on another guy, like, clothes, I've done that, I've got our bills paid, vacations, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, and, and as That's long real. as I'm not doing it with that person. At that time, it was a different point in my life. Guys, well, obviously, it was a different relationship and it was benefiting both of us and I didn't have to do anything. Some so. men are suckers. Some men just hand out money because they have That's so much bag. of it. They just want to see a woman happy. You know how many times I've had men like literally like, yo, I just want to see you smile. It's an ego thing. That's too. a herd. Yeah, word. Who, it don't matter what That's you call them. Oh, it like, don't matter on, what you it. call them. They doing them. I know that, but I'm just saying. But she's called, okay, but listen, she's but wait, calling them. Call them. Call them. Call them what they are. That's a her. Okay, That's but what am I man. for being able to get a man to do that something like that? Give that, me my compliment. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're, what am I? You're, you're common is cool, Bad bitch. But we're, <laughs> But we're talking about the herd that's making y'all feel like that that's cool. Like, that's the standard. Niggas got money and I want to see you smile. Fuck your smile. Straight up and down. I agree. Yo, yo, you here. If I'm not, if I'm not rocking with you like that, fuck your smile. You here to do a job. Like I tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're dealing with. You know what you're coming with. Ain't nobody spending no money just to see somebody smile. That's cat. And you going for the cap. And we all here know that this is cap. That is and, and we already cap. said, and we already you said, real we already said, we already said, when you feed in and you go for the cap, that's what makes it acceptable. We know what's going on when the man is buying it for no reason. It's not no reason. He's putting it down. He's okay, trying. He's a herb then. Okay, because... this is what, and that's what I said he was. They said these men know they're not getting it. They, that's not no, always true. No, 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 no. It's a they, game. They, 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 Oh, so the, okay, okay, so these ones, so no, no, these no, no, categories no, no, no. of flirters, no. this category to you do relax. with the money. Let me say something real no, quick. No, I'm just Hold saying, I'm just, just be clear with me. <laughs> the category is this, the dude with the money, y'all flirt with him back and make him think he's going to get it. But the dude with no money, he don't get no flirt no. back. No. Is that the role? No, okay, I'm just trying to be clear. First of all, let me just. Regular man, exactly. a man with too much money is like okay. So tell me who much. get. So tell me who. So the dude that just take, took you I'll, shopping. I mean, well, <laughs> when you went shopping and you got your stuff, right? Mm. Who? What type of dude? What type of feeling did you get from that? Was he that guy? Because he took you no. to go get the stuff? No, Were I, you flirting back with him no, to make him feel? Oh, no. that I did not just say. She said she wasn't flirting back. No, we had like a, we had like This a is what I'm saying. No, no, no. Like we had such like a regular conversation, uh -huh. him and I. Like we went out shopping. I had somebody else with me, a mm -hmm. friend of mine. And after we went shopping, I said, oh, you hungry? He was like, yeah, I'm hungry. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let's go here. Let's go eat there. It was in the mall. So we went there, we talked, we were talking about business, what we do, blah, 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 blah. My friend's also involved in the conversation. And okay, bye, thank you, have a good day. Like, all I just wanted was my stuff. So yeah, is that like, not so is that is that not what I just said? Yo, but like, can is I, that or not? Okay, is that no, not what okay. I just said? Okay. So, for example, with the person that I said was helping with bills or whatever the situation is. Sometimes they just do those things. There are men out there that literally know that they're not going there with you and they don't expect to go there with you. But you can't help the fact that there are men out there that are like that. Everybody is not like you, Rico. Everybody's not like you, Esso. Nope, some nope, people nope, don't, some not. people do not have the same lifestyle as you. So they just want to give or they have so much that they want to give. So I don't I mean, understand. Wait, wait, let me, let me say something. 
I'm going to take a page from Adam's book because then now we're talking about something different. Okay. Those men, they do want and desire to go there with you. They wish they knew how to how go to. there mm-hmm. with you. They have no confidence. They have That's no, not true. Yes, it is true. Some of them. No, I'm telling you right now, there's not a person, male or female, that is going to just give everything okay, with God. zero expectations in return. That's especially, not especially if I'm physically attracted to you. Right. And Are you a woman? No. I'm Every a man. man. I'm talking She's about the talking men about that are spending and money on And I'm talking on you. about men that are not you. That are I'm very talking different about, from no, you. I'm talking about but men. I understand who, what he's saying. Men are I men. Why you gotta take them all the way to reality? Why they can't just like, 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 come on? Like nobody's spending no money on nobody for nothing. Nobody so, spends money for nothing. At all, That's nobody. Not true. I have a. Qu- it is true. Let, let me ask you this question, Chrissy. If you ask me that question after, because uh, before that we film, can straight. you just think of a place where you're at a position that you've never been at? Remember that you you're probably not a person that has had millions or billions or whatever. So you don't know what the fuck you would do when you get to that point. Yes, because I do. you don't even. Because there are people that fucking deliver money to a damn p- pet pita to cats to dogs to fucking dirt to science. You got motherfuckers that throw money away. Yo, but those so until are you're at that point, purposes. you can't keep speaking. Yes. I got yes, a lot of can. motherfuckers yes. that throw money on me and I don't touch them at the yeah, bar. But that's straight up. That's just, Thank you. Straight up. up. No, listen, and that nigga I brought from the bar. I donate to non-profits hey, all the time. And he still got them every Friday night. Jada, now, listen, real we'll talk. I donate, to, non- I donate I to non-profits all the time. But there I ain't you go. Give, what you got? I'm not, I'm not giving no broad my money. But you said See, that don't, people don't do that. I'm not even going to listen. I'm not going to cap because all y'all talk about money and levels of money. I got plenty of money. Don't talk about I'm, it. Right? But I'm not sitting, I'm, I'm talking from a standpoint of somebody who has made a lot of money, lost a lot of money, and made a lot of money back. And I'm not just sitting around spending none of my money on somebody for no reason. If I'm out there spending the money, if this my man, if it's his birthday, I'm, I'm yo, we going to Columbia, we doing whatever, that's why I'm spending the money. If I like you, if I'm taking you to eat, if I'm taking you shopping, that's why I'm spending the money. I'm not just gonna up and say, if I'm paying it for dogs, if if it's a dog thing, like you said, I love fucking dogs. That's why I'm paying this fucking money. Everything is for a reason. Yeah. For some reason. I love bad for, bitches. For, 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 <laughs> that's the point. Okay. I love bad bitches point. that like to hang out so, together and but, be bad. But, 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 but for some reason, that's cool. But y'all are saying that they're just doing this for All no reason. All we're saying reason. is that it happened. And even with no. the flirting, Why can't you accept that? Even because because it's everything with the woman to the man always changes. With the woman, there's a reason to flirt. I'm flirting because of this. I know for a fact, any one of y'all got a nigga and y'all catch y'all nigga flirting? I mean, if, if, <laughs> if, if, if I know for a fact, if, if one of y'all got a dude and y'all are involved with him and y'all catch him flirting at any time for any reason, for anything, you ready to have the relationship over. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a it problem. Depends. It depends. You're it depends. interpreting it as if we're justifying. It's not that it's, it's trying They're to justifying. be justifying. It's just, justifying. I said it's disrespectful. It's wrong. Yeah, it is it's wrong. disrespectful and I'm just saying different levels. But right, there's just different levels to it. So there's levels to everything. That's it's yeah. a gateway to cheating. But I don't think that it's cheating. So are you cool if you have a man? I didn't you, say I was cool okay, with it. I'm so, not justifying man, it. It's inappropriate. So if it's so, if I flirt with you question. and I got a man. Let, let me ask this question. What category does it go under? If you say you have a man, you say you was at the table with him. So you started flirting. flirting. You didn't like it. No, because right? it's Why? inappropriate. It's inappropriate. So inappropriate things go towards what? Not. It's the gateway it's a, to it's cheating. A, it's it's a, not it, cheating. It, it's it, wrong. It's inappropriate. You're saying your classification is a gateway. Once a man sees you flirt, you have cheated. That's it. Okay, can I, I don't say care one about thing? a gateway. We're talking about <laughs> when we come on this show, and I'm gonna say what you guys say, I swear. When we come on this show, right? <laughs> we always have standards. We always talk and we ask the women mm-hmm. how they feel. I don't talk about women. I don't know what it's like to have a vagina. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to have people chasing me. But for some reason, when we go on this platform, women up here think they know what men feel. And where we're saying we're not here to fight and argue and go back. I'm not her man. I'm not yours. We're here to tell you this is how men really feel. So if we really feel this way, it's not for you to tell me, oh, no, it's a category. It's for you to combat how I'm feeling. Because I'm telling you what we really feel inside. I respect that 100%.
But can you just think outside of the box of <laughs> the fact that you're not the only man that feels just that way or just your feelings are not like all men don't feel the way you feel. That's all I'm saying. You probably think it ain't no other man gonna come and sit in the house and let another man pay his bills and let his woman flirt every now and then. Cause men feel the same like, man. Uh, some men feel insecure when another man takes care of something else. Most men, I'm, I'm pretty sure what all men do. Another no, man I just told you somebody did. I just what gave an example. So, so Chrissy and Jada, these men that have given you, given you some type of financial materialistic gain, if you would have offered them to have sex, what do you think their answer would be? Yes or no? Absolutely. And how about you, Jada? Why are you bothering me? <laughs> because like the, the thing that, that, that I'm trying to say and maybe we're trying to also say is that speaking from a guy's standpoint of view, people in general tend to want to do good, right? We're not faulting nobody for wanting to do good. If somebody's helping you or, or taking you shopping, go ahead. But don't sit here and act like they're just doing it out of solely the goodness of their heart. There's always some type of want and desires okay. in the back end, whether or not they know how to approach it with you. Because you got to remember, sometimes these men can or don't know how to actually get you to be the woman that they want you to be side by side with them. So they may try to buy their way into this league, which maybe they maybe they might have a lack of um, you know, confidence or, or whatever the case may be. So they try, to, they try to use their money to up their status to make you find them as valuable as they need to be to have you. So do you feel like men are trying to spend money to buy women that are out of their league, basically? They're try, they'll, they'll spend the money, they'll use the money, or if they try don't to change use your it, mind. they'll also use resources. So that's what I'm saying. So when... When a man, some men mm. use their, because there also is, and I'm not going to go too far left, there also is some men that use money because guess what? They don't care to invest the time to, it takes for you. So they figure money could shorten that time frame to get you wherever they want you. Mm -hmm. But some men use the money because that experience, those resources, and that lifestyle, They'll bait you with that. You'll fall in love with living like this so much mm -hmm. that you could think I am something that I'm really not. I agree. I am that I man that too. you're technically not attracted to. Now you're attracted to what I give you. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to stay here with me. It's literally baiting and reeling you in. And, and, and a lot of people, men too, bite the bait whenever a lifestyle or luxury is always being offered. But understand that it is an incentive to blind you. Mm. That's all I'm that's trying to say. Yeah, that's a fact. Right. So, and I think that that is definitely inappropriate when you're in a relationship. And I totally think that that is true, what you said. I think that they're trying to speed up the process and get you to open your legs faster by giving you things that you're probably not used to having or by showering, showering you with gifts or taking you places you've never been because they're trying to get faster access to what you know you got going on and i can honestly say that i've seen that happen before i've been you know a victim of that happening where it's like someone is trying to hurry up and get me to give them what they want because you know you know they just are in a rush to get it and they know that they have to spend money or they have to everything is not always about money you know what yeah, i'm saying right. that's let me just put that on the table it's experience not always too. about money it's like an experience it's like you know Whatever. It'll so, be time. Yeah, exactly. Everything is like, you know, I want to see something different. I want to enjoy something different. So, you know, sometimes that situation, men know, will make a woman give it up faster. And I agree with that. I feel like I've been in certain positions in my life is like where since I've bartended and I'm around all those guys with the fake teeth. In real life, <laughs> they was ugly in their baby pictures. <laughs> they were ugly before the jewelry and the fake teeth. But I thought they looked good sitting behind my bar because they were cashing out a zip, three zips, five zips throwing the money at me, taking me shopping. Maybe maybe, maybe I never got with them. Maybe, majority of the guys that's ever took me out, out like after the bar or whatever, never smashed because I don't look at you more than that. For real. I'm looking at you as just a spender. And a lot of these men do that. They spend... No, they money. do, but with intention. Yeah, they yeah to buy you pussy. Yeah, they want to buy pussy. You may not get pussy. those intentions met. But, yeah, but you don't always... Have the intentions all you but want. But listen, you don't always have to... Like, a woman's not going to always give herself up to those men. And if they do, but I don't the, know. I don't, like... the topic like, was, 
if they're spending the money, y'all were telling us they were just spending the money because they have all the money that's coming out the sky and they say y'all need it. Wait, hold on, let me say it. They said that y'all need it, so I'm just going to give it to y'all. And me and Rico is trying to explain, yes, they're spending the money, but they're spending it for a specific reason. We're they're aware spending. Okay, and, but some guys want to... Wait, but listen. Do they get it? But listen, Do they get it is the question. Listen, but you some... May, you may not. You guys can some they guys, they get it. Some guys just want to see a girl doing good. And I've dealt with those men, with too. With their penis Stop. inside of them. No, that's not true. They want true. to see you looking good that with is their not penis inside true. of them. That is not true. I know girls I mean, that get... You can have intention for a woman to just want to fuck. No, I fuck. can't. Right? <laughs> you, you can't. can't. You can't you tell can't. me. I'm going to tell you. No, ask so me. So tell me. Ask me. There may be a if woman... I, if I'm out here, give me uh, any type of scenario. I got a whole lot of money. Listen, I want to fuck. Listen, I got a homegirl that got eight... I want to fuck, Listen, no. Whatever you do. Whether or not I just want to fuck you, or whether or not I want to, even that's if you want a future with her, you still want to fuck her, right? That's a type of man. I'm not, yo, listen, if you even right? think, even if you like, like she said, we're different type of men. So when you're categorized, say, oh, men are going to do this. No, I'm not. Everything you're saying up here sounds utterly ridiculous to me. That men, <laughs> that men Who come said up that here. Though? I didn't I'm say talking that. about everything that every woman is saying up here sounds utterly ridiculous for the type of men that y'all are saying that are coming about. Because yes, we know they're spending the money. We talked about them being simps many times, but they're not a simp for no reason. They are a simp for the vagina. Who's disagreeing they, they with are, that? This is why this conversation went this way, because my two castmates said <laughs> to us all they're good them. people. I didn't, I didn't my my two castmates made us believe that these men that are spending this money are really, really I good just people. Said and they just want to see me do better. <laughs> and I don't, and they don't want my vagina, although I look good as fuck, they don't want me. No, I don't think they want to help me and my man. They want to help me and my man. Everybody, he's the fuck dragging it. Nobody has said that. They want to help me and my man. My friend got eight watches out of a man and never fucked him. That doesn't mean he didn't want to fuck. Never fucked him. That doesn't mean he didn't want to he fuck. He wants to fuck her, but she's gonna keep but getting that's him. What we talking about. He wants about. to buy her watches just in case she needs to sell them one day. How about that? Because I sat down and I spoke to him before. He's like, the reason why I love so and so, I don't want to say her name, but the reason why Chrissy, I love so and so is just in case it. if one day Chrissy, she goes. Chrissy, 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 I'm not gonna let you finish that statement. You are Mark because I respect you. What? You are Mark. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> that's I, a fact. I respect you. We're not gonna. Straight Mark. I don't want. Listen, I don't want you to say that because I'm gonna tell you that that is wrong. <laughs> How? That is wrong because let him bought, save you, Chrissy. He bought her eight watches because he has not gotten it right. on the first watch, and that's why she got seven more. She could ghost him. That's not I've the. Done it. That's not the point. She can ghost him. <laughs> Chrissy, she can I'll ghost, ghost him. him. She can do that, but yes. but the thing is, listen, girls. Look, the game is not one player. We're not saying that the game is one player. Girls could play the game too for their own gain. She got she got eight watches. She's winning. She's winning. She's winning the game. Mm -hmm. But understand that the other end of the game is if he fucks. Once he fucks, if he fucks, he wins. Even if she gets twenty you watches. Said if. Yeah, I'm they both saying. don't win. No. She and I got watches, so no. we both she don't win. won. Because what? Listen, what are the watches to somebody who could buy a million of those? You no, got I'm you. Saying, listen, listen. No, you're, if I give you a hundred thousand dollars. So yes. if he gets the pussy, she loses. Yes. Even though she got the yes. eight watches, her pussy had a price. What if I her pussy had a price? It cost Shit. eight. <laughs> no less. Shit. Bitches Shit. fuck for free all the time. You're losing. Right. Okay. So I'm losing. Like, what if I wanted to give it to him? But I, that's I, what I was just gonna say. What if I wanted to do it? What, what? Right. I could have done it without getting those watches. I could have just been like, I like him. He look good, and I want to fuck. So I'm a fuck. Mm -hmm. But let me get this first. Then I'm a fuck. I'm losing still, even though I wanted to do it? That's not the case. No, you win that one. In her friend's case, she don't want to fuck. So I want to move the and goal. And she didn't. No, uh, that's not the... She didn't yet. No, yet. it's not yet. She, yes. Did she fuck? No. She didn't no. fuck. But yes. she still got something out of him. Allegedly. So did she lose? Allegedly, because none of y'all there she when she's still, having sex. She's not there. That's my... And we know women... It could be, it could be, if y'all watch know. this show, I told you when you wake up, you better know women is capping when they roll out the bed. So you cannot <laughs> believe That's what your friend say. Trust me, it's cat. That's you a lie. She is not she getting eight watches she... and not busting down That's those boxes. Keep it a show. That's, That's not true. That's the same you way. You know a girl that bust down eight Rolexes ain't give a box? Tell me. I don't know the girl. Oh, she right knows that. Right. 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 No. Right. No. Right. no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're not listening. She don't know what her 
cat. You're, she's lying. She's lying. You're assuming that she's lying. Just because you're not like that. Yes, just because you're not like those men. If a, if a dude bought my sister eight Rolexes, I'm like, yo, you better go get that nigga that pussy. You playing. Yeah, exactly. You playing games. What are we talking about here? Like, Why? This is she could get, if she could get nine go, more. Go, yo, lock the, lock the herb bin. <laughs> if, he's got, if he's paying for eight watches, what are we talking about yo, can here? can I say something? Right? Yeah. I want to just make sure, I, like, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and girls, some girls will take gifts upon gifts mm -hmm. from somebody they don't like. They right? just learn to lie. Right? I agree. Right? Listen. Right. Listen. See where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. They don't. I don't want you to get, throw me other scenarios. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking on one. Okay. They will take gifts upon gifts from somebody they don't like. I don't care if you get $100,000 in gifts, $200,000 in gifts, $10,000 of gifts. Once you open your legs for somebody you don't like, you lose. I agree with you. That's all I was saying. I'm not disagreeing right. with that. Cool. I'm not disagreeing with so that at all. Your friend right now is winning, but let her know. As soon as this goes this way, <laughs> it's a Yo, dub. what if she realizes that the man that wait, hold on. What if she realizes that the man if she doesn't like him, if she wants to give him the pussy, pussy everybody's she winning. Could. That's what you're saying. Wait, no, 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 no. no. What if just, she just so the watches could change her no, mind? No, not even that. What if the man is just so like Because the watches have changed her mind. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jada. Yes. Jada. Jada. I like all of this shit. Yeah, you, you know what? You're looking a little cute now. <laughs> it's the truth. No. We got the truth. <laughs> but I now can, I can learn to like this unibrow. You that, know, it's now, cute. and that goes with flirting because men flirt with money. And so, and, yeah, and, and I so, fell in love with somebody who spent some money. That's yeah. that. There you go. That. I that did. should be a topic. I, I fell uh, in love. That's, I didn't give a fuck what yeah, he looked like. I don't care about my boyfriend. <laughs> yes, that's my boyfriend. I don't care. <laughs> no, it, it could buy tricks. How many women do we know that are dating like athletes, always getting left, always getting um, cheated on, and continue? And they shut the fuck up. Yeah, behind and they they shut the fuck lifestyle up. sucks. It looks glamorous on the outside, exactly. but you're getting Because they're not leaving that cheated. lifestyle. You're not leaving it's the it. lifestyle you love, not the man. I'm not saying me personally. Again, I'm a different woman than most people. That's why I'm in a situation with somebody where I'm like, we ain't doing that. Like, you know? But this is what I'm trying to say. You're a prime example of what I'd be talking about. I'd be telling y'all, Y'all think money could buy love, and it doesn't. It buys a lifestyle that you're miserable in. So how are, how could you, how much how much enjoyment and fulfillment can you get when you get in this big mansion and you're miserable? You All you are, you're in a big ass no, cage. I said athletes. And these are these are good looking men I'm that have 12 about, packs. The women. The women, the women are not happy. The women happy sit at them. home miserable. The, the women are not happy. They don't, I don't care about <laughs> They're women. They're unhappy. The I've... women are unhappy. And then what happens, like Jada, somebody was buying her love. She fell in love. But it's not impossible I'm not to done. fall in Hold love on. with a rich nigga. It's not impossible. But no, but that's, a, that's not. The money's a bonus. But I do love you. That's not what I'm talking Talking about that's cool we're gonna get right into that in okay. one second people pe uh, women buy into this lifestyle they fall in love with this dude because of the money then they leave them uh, or, or that guy leaves them or mistreats them so then they end up leaving and then what happens you have jada now with a good guy a good guy for me it was the it was making me feel like being catered I was, to. Yeah, I was being catered to. I was on top of the world when I'm with you. Like, when we're together, you know, first of all, when you go out to eat, it's like an experience with someone. You talk, you drink, you have a good time, right? When I'm out with this person, we're fine dining. We're, we're having an, a, an amazing experience. We're getting to know each other on a different level. I'm seeing things I never saw. You know, he's getting, you know, like, it's a, it's a level that you come to with someone where you see things that you never felt before and you are like, wow, I can get used to this. And then you start seeing this person a different way. You start seeing what they're into, how they get to where they are, what, you know, like how they, whatever. You just get to know a person and you fall in love with them. I mean, it's not hard to love somebody, damn. Yeah. I personally feel like that's the tough part is what makes you stronger, you know? I mean, I'm not trying to be poetic as he says it, but that makes me feel like a better person when I can stick through some shit because if I, trust you enough to get to get your shit together, then we'll be all right. I'm not tripping off of that. And I ain't got to worry about it because if we fall off, I'm not the type of bitch that's where we going to be dirt poor. So I was like, I ain't worried about it. Like, you know, get your shit together. I'm and here. that's where that's where he was talking about when a woman could hold her own and men get infatuated by that. I think so. You feel me? 
She, Jada just said on this seg, this part of the segment what we've been saying the whole time, yeah. that the man spends the money and he tries to introduce you to a lifestyle and that's why he's doing it. That's what the dude with the eight watches is trying to do. He's trying, he's trying to show the girl, I can bring you to a whole nother lifestyle and when he gets a chance to, that's why Rico said she'll be then lost because he's going to get the vagina and he's going to show her a whole nother lifestyle hoping she's like Jada and says, yo, you showing me some new shit. So I'm I'm gonna go with the new shit. Okay. But Ray Ray's with, but that's what I was gonna say. The league, it goes back to what we talk about. It's confidence. We nobody up here always had stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't always have nothing. I lost I lost things. I didn't always have stuff. You know what I'm saying? You take it, you go. I still don't have as much as I used to have because I had to do things. But when mm -hmm. people see me walking in the door, you know how I'm coming. Right. My confidence, I know I'm going to get back on top. I know I deserve anything that's in my realm that I can put my hands on. I don't need money or status to make me feel like I deserve it. If there's a woman, there's women that have way more money than me. When I filed for bankruptcy, I, there is a woman straight cheese that used to drop me four grand every month. Heineken knows that there was a woman in, in, in my life that didn't want me working. She used to drop me 10000 a month. And while he knew me, you know, were they what I'm doing saying? that for no reason, or were y'all no, fucking? No, they was. She was not doing it for no reason. But were y'all fucking? But were y'all fucking? Yeah. But were y'all fucking? Yeah. But were y'all fucking? Yeah. 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 So she's a her. Yeah. Queer up, my nigga. She's a her. Her ass, bitch. She's a her. Hey yo, hey yo, she's a her. Hey yo, hey yo, she's a her. She's a her. What you giving the dick up? During that time, listen, during, during, during that time, I had filed for bankruptcy and it was already understood what was going on. You can't move cash around. You can't do different things. So because I was already dealing with her and she know where I'm coming back with it, she was like, yo, you don't got nothing to worry about. I already had time in, I already had different things in. So why would she see me fall on my face? She wasn't my girlfriend, but I was fucking with her for a very, very long time. It takes me, for, for example, for a long time to make any Anybody, my girlfriend. So that's what it was. She wasn't tricking on me to get in my drawers. She wasn't told, going to buy me bags. To she liked that no, dick. Was, well, that's why she was, was already doing it. dealing with her. And, and, more. and yeah, she wanted to keep that's it going. Right. She should you're... want some more. She wanted to show you that she, she wanted want to hold more. it down. Because she knows what she time wanted to show you that she could day, hold it men, down. Men use their money, um, women use their body. Point blank, period. So do men. Just understand that. We are made differently for a reason. You were born without boobs. I was born with them for a reason. <laughs> you were born with a dick for a reason. Penis, sorry. I was born with a vagina for a reason. It, we can debate all we want. We can debate all we want, but we have to sometimes just agree to disagree. Or That's maybe just you it. just need to listen. How about Look, we listen to y'all, all right? When, if you go to tell me. Listen, no, we no, listen. listen, listen, listen. If y'all try to tell me something about women, mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue with you telling me something about women. Okay. Right? Because okay. I'm not a woman. But when I'm a man and I tell you that men are spending this for X, Y, and Z, don't argue with us trying to tell us about men. That's That was that. I agree. Can I just ask y'all something? When a girl caters to you so much, right? Let's just say I'm putting it for your perspective now. So let's say a woman caters, caters to you, right? She wants to buy your lunch or bring you lunch to your job or give you a massage, do what your actual wifey doesn't do for you, right? Do all the shit that your wifey don't do for you. Maybe she wants to suck your balls and your wife don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you're going to tell me not eventually or let's say she wants to come up with a business proposal with you mm -hmm. or help you have business ideas. You're not going to one day want to like, damn, this girl's like actually like... She's a woman. She wants to boss up. And your wife ain't really like that. Or y'all wives ain't really like that. You feel me? You're not going to want to fuck the girl. But we're already fucking them. There's a no, difference. let's say let's say you haven't. No, no, let's there say is no you, you haven't. Have, listen, men don't play with their food. If she Women play with food, their food. She fuck me. What, men do not what? play with if their food. If she's sending me food, she wants to have sex with me. If she's, if she's massaging my back, we're definitely having sex already. <laughs> Come yeah. on. That's not you, true. So, no, so you... This is what we're saying from a man, right? If you send me, if you send me a meal, you already know how I'm coming. You're not sending me no meal unless you're really ready. 
right or wrong, because you know who you're dealing with. So when you're dealing with somebody like me, if you think you're going to massage my back and ain't nothing happening, you're sadly mistaken. I would say don't massage my back because it's going down, <laughs> period. That's so all you're I'm saying, saying if she's doing all of that, she wants to fuck you? Yeah, that's how men you know, feel. So that's how men that's how, feel. That's, how, that's, how, that's, how that, that, feel. that's from a man's point of view. You can walk up and say, damn, it looked like that you're working out. You could really be giving me a compliment because right. you saw me lose weight, right? But for <laughs> me, but for me, you're I'm taking it as that. I'm taking it as that you're flirting with me. And, and so with all of that being said, <laughs> we're gonna just have to agree to disagree on a couple of things, but I'm going to say I still believe that flirting is cheating. I think most of us think that flirting is cheating. It could be a gateway, a gateway to, to cheating. cheating. Flirting is cheating. And yeah. using your money to buy gifts is an act of flirting. We're not going to argue with that, right? Hey, guys, and we're back. So the last discussion got a little heated. The ladies are definitely up one. Woo. Okay. <laughs> but we're going to talk about the next topic, which is, are you guys at home dating out of your league? I know y'all going to act like you're not. You're going to think, you know, I'm definitely a 10, like everybody always thinks. But are you dating someone that is out of your league? I, okay, so I also want to I want to dive deeper and peel back layers on dating out of your league. Mm -hmm. Because we could look at it on a couple different ways, right? Or a couple different scales. Whereas maybe a guy has to pay uh, beautiful women money to date them or, you know, spend a lot of money to date beautiful women because that woman might be out of their league. Or we can actually flip it and say sometimes a girl might not be able to be in a league with a rich man, so she uses her body to get into the game. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? We could we could we could flip it on both both spectrums and, and all. And I'm gonna say, me personally, monetary value does not necessarily mean out of your league. And that's what I was gonna right? say. Like dating out of your league is not only about money. Yeah. Right? It can be about money. Oftentimes people like to categorize it like that, but it's not only about money. If I've gone through some stuff and I've been hurt and I've gone through the trauma and all of that, but I've done the work to heal and to be a better person so that I don't drag my baggage into my next relationship. If you come to me and you haven't dealt with those kind of things, you're emotionally unavailable. You got all of these things going on. You're right. dating out of your I league. Agree. Go I, deal with that I, shit you know before what? you come and deal with me. So it's not always about money. Got you. I agree. I, I, you right. know what? High five. I've been, I've experienced. Five. Dating out of your league could be knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When, That's when, very when, true. When people could show you things. I've, I've been with many people that have showed me different things and I thought that I knew everything. Mm -hmm. I thought I traveled, but there are different things upon life that people go through and they've seen. And then when you learn those things, it raises your league up. That's so true. most of us tend to date outside of our league because that's what we're infatuated by. That's what we're looking to become. So you might not want what they have, but being around and getting that knowledge and getting that knowing how they work things and how they do things will help raise you up. Yeah. Great. And I agree too, um, except for I'm going to say that I, me personally, I've dated out of my league based on being shallow, where the woman was beautiful, but she was nothing, she had nothing else to offer. Like, I w I'm a person who I'm big on knowledge, so growing myself, you know, I, and accolades, you know, my resume is pretty great for, for my opinion, and she had nothing. But does that mean you were dating out of your league or she, she was. was dating out of her league? Well, it sounds like maybe she, she was, was dating, she out, she of was dating league, right? out of her league and I was dating out of my out of my league saying that I was stooping down. You were, okay. It's like if okay. I'm in the NBA, I don't need to go play pickup ball in New York. You know what I'm saying? I stooped down, but she was dating out of her league and I bit the bait. So, you know, and it, it, it was just me being shallow. And not once I started to peel back the layers and got to know her and understand her, I said, yo, she's lazy. She has no work ethic, no drive. And realistically, in five years from now, I'm already ahead of her now. That gap is only going to increase. But I think that comes with people. That's when you're dating someone's potential, right? I've made that mistake many times when I was younger. You date someone's potential, right? Like you look at this man and you say... Okay, he's motivated, or I think he's motivated. He's, you know, okay, he's inspiring, right? I can see him being this person in five years, but 
I can't want for you what you don't want for yourself. Right. So I think we get trapped in dating people's potential. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I know you can be this man. I know you can get this money. I know you can accomplish these things. Right. But I can think that. But if you don't have the drive behind you to do that, yeah. there's nothing I can do. You see, and but that was, was my biggest fault, too. I've dated somebody that I saw so much potential. He had all the knowledge in the world. He was good at reading. He knew what to do. He knew what to look for. But he, even though he knew all that information, he never did anything with it. Yeah. 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 We couldn't distracted. connect the dots. Exactly. We couldn't connect the right. dots. Some people get distracted throughout life. For example, you can have all of these things going for you in, in your favor, but if you're the type of person that We've talked about self-sabotage. If you're the type of person that doesn't, uh, you know, take advantage of your opportunities or you'll miss opportunities or you'll, you know, do things to mess up what you have going on based off of, oh, like, you know, I'm going to go and hang out with this girl, even though I have a meeting at this time. And what I've learned is when you when you raise in levels, the, the, the biggest thing that I've learned when you raise in levels is the higher you get up, it becomes more about a partnership. It's not about mm -hmm. me and it's not about you. Because right now, when you have a partnership with these people, I'm picking up pieces that I would never have to pick up. Right. And when I pick up these pieces, I'm saying to Jada, listen, I don't want to have to pick these pieces up. This is the route that we need to go. And every man that I know of that has done anything and been anywhere, we all, the number one thing we want to do, we want to share the knowledge and we want to show our women that we have this knowledge and we want to help you raise your level up. But some people might take it as bragging or whatever, whatever, but then you'll be in a position where these these things occur and they need to have this knowledge in order to keep everything. But that intact. comes with dating at your level. Date at your level. Like you like you said earlier, you're not always you weren't always here, right? Mm -mm. Right? Everybody starts at the bottom. You weren't date at your level. If you know your credit score is 420 and you live with your mama in the basement and you don't have a job, don't step to a woman who has an 820 a credit score. I got my stuff together and I'm doing what but I need what to do. But what if I need some help? <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's I mean, not I mean, about helping okay. you. I'm saying date at your level. Yeah, Let's be honest. I want to raise my level. I, I want to be with you, and I want to have an 820 credit score. This happens score. all the time. This but happens this is, in my, really quick, this happens in my DM all the time. I have friends who, I'm not talking about myself, I have friends who guys will hit me up in my DM and be like, yo, put me on with her. Put you on with her? This girl's rent is 8000 a month. Her bills, her business, her her whole lifestyle. You, She's a boss. You already know that you're telling me to put you on with somebody that up, put you on with someone that you cannot even. You can't even. You gotta at least match. Wait, wait, wait. But vice versa. Not even that, match. Ahead, Rico. Absolutely. But what Absolutely. I wanna say is this, and and we went, and I wanted to say this before, but I'm glad that y'all all said this because now you're gonna understand where I'm really coming from. See, let's take dating dating people's potential out of it. And let's talk about dating people's material because that's the world that we live on. And that's what I, that's the problem on why I made the mistake. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. You look like you don't have a 420 credit score. You have Christian Dior bags and you have red bottoms and YSL every single day. But you didn't even you don't even know how to get it. Somebody gave it to you. Mm -hmm. There's men, there's men out here who live off rich friends. And get money off their rich friends, and they're in their mansion, posting in their That's in so their house, true. and then the, the girls are buy, are buying into them I because they're it. dating off their materials that's so true. and that's what I, that's the problem that I feel like that be having and when it comes to the partnership, that's why we be making mistakes because I'm looking at y'all like, oh, you could be a great partner because you have X, y, and Z, but and, I don't know how you got X, y, and Z mm -hmm. and and because we think that it takes certain work ethic and drive and certain types of princi principles to get those things, we kind of confuse it, and then we end up dating out of our league, and those persons are tricking the people to date out of their league as well. But when I say date at your level, I don't mean that in an offensive kind of way. I'm not saying to say, like, I have these things and you don't have them, so you a bum, get away from me. That's not how I mean it. I just mean, you're not there yet, yeah. and that's okay, because we weren't always there. Just date at your level, and you can get there eventually. I'm just saying, if you can't even match what this woman is bringing to the table. Why are you there? But can I ask you a know how they I, I, feel, I feel as if like, cause it's not always, and I'm not even talking about money. But I want to just ask y'all a real I question. Don't agree on that Why though. is it a prerequisite when a woman has something that a man has Please, to be? See, I Let don't me just, agree. Can I just I say, can I just that. ask my whole that. thing? I, why, why is it a prerequisite if, for example, 420 credit score, 820, for a man, for me, 
It doesn't matter to me about your credit score. Yes. It doesn't matter to me. You don't have to look like y'all look. You could pull up in sneakers and a sweatsuit, and I can see your value. I want to so, answer that. Okay, so I'm, I'm I'm just curious to why when 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 the woman's a boss, they need a boss. When a man's a boss. He needs a partner and he needs a companion. Because no we matter what, whether well. we're a boss or not, mm -hmm. that moment is going to come where we're more than likely going to have children and we need to be there 100% for that child. And no matter what, nature is nature. The man was made to provide for the home. You got these muscles. You're supposed to do certain things and the woman is supposed to <laughs> do certain things. I don't agree and with I, that. You don't? I, do I, personally, I personally feel... I do not feel, agree with that. I pers this is just my own opinion. I personally feel like whether I'm... if. If I'm a boss and I have children, I'm gonna have to solely take care of those children. If I am say, a boss, but, but why you think like why do you think if I'm a boss and I have kids, I have to solely take it? Like where's that coming from? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying from my perspective. I don't know if it's the right perspective, it's the wrong perspective. Y'all know I'm open to everybody's perspective. I'm just saying from my perspective. And if I'm a boss and I'm dating someone who doesn't have their their stuff together and they're staying at home with the kids, you know, now I'm taking care of the man. I don't think it's a terrible thing, but I just. Feel I, like. I, but I'm not talking about taking care of the man. I'm not. I'm not asking you to take care of the man. You could have. You could be making a million dollars, and I'm making eighty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, and we in the same home. Why would I have to be making a million dollars to be that, of love? No. This is what, but this is what I'm. No, asking. just different. Just okay. You're right because then there's this that's is what, a different league. This is know? what this is what I'm saying, and I'm saying within the leagues for us as as as, as men. That's why I'm a asking you the question because I really want to know. Why do women, when they have the money and have the power, why do they look for a man that has money and power? Why are they not looking for a companion? Because if I have the money, real shit, I don't need you to have the money. I agree. I think people I need do you that. to be my no. partner. I, I need you to love me, have my backbone, rub right. my back when it's tough times. And if you want to come bring some money to the table, let's do it. You want to bring some uh, ideas, some, some technology Absolutely. to the table, yeah, I agree then, with that. then let's go on and do that. But in but in the woman's mind, I, I really want you to think, why does a man have to meet you at your level to be legit if you're a boss? I, do you think that there's not enough people, not enough men around? Is there any test market for what? What you're bringing to the table. You have an 800, an 820 credit score. You're making a lot of money. Where is your marketplace? Are there people that you think, are there men that you think that need what you have? There are. Mm -hmm. I just think that, and I'm probably speaking from experience, but I think that men don't want that. Men want to be the provider. Men don't want to, you know, you can say that. And, and maybe some men are like that. Like, I don't care if my girl makes more money than me. I don't care if she's bringing more to the table. I'm good. I'm chilling. But a lot of men are not open to that. A lot of men don't want that. They want to be the one in control. They want to be the one to provide. So you think the money gives the man the control? It can. Because in my situation, my my wife for the last five years has made more money than me. It don't matter to me though. It don't matter to you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying no, no, I'm saying I know more. Yeah. No, I do know most men care, right? But do you think that men who make their own money care about the dollar amount? No. If, I, if I'm making enough money to take care of myself, and you, and still take trips, right? Does it matter that if you're that you're making more money point, than no, me? At that point, no, because we both getting money. If a woman, but I'm talking about if I have these things and you don't have anything. Anything. I'm not talking about I have more than you. You may have a little less. No, I'm not Would talking about Would you date about a that. man that don't have nothing? I have done that. That's, you I don't have, like it? No, it, but it went with dating his potential, right? Because mm -hmm. I could look at you and see millions and say, you have the potential to go out there and get it. But if you ain't going out there to get it, I'm dating out of my league. What do you think, Jada? I think that it's safe to say that we all try to date in our league, but we all fail to date into our league. <laughs> <laughs> but well, why do you think that dating in our league? Because I don't necessarily think dating within the league it's a bad thing. Why do y'all feel like as, as women that you need to date up and you can't date within well, your league? Well, I personally think that it's safe to date in your league. Well, I think it's safe to date out of your league. Everybody just has to come to an agreement and you have to respect the individual that you're with. Okay. All right, this was a great segment. Everybody, keep tuning in. Keep on reposting, commenting, and all of that. We appreciate you. It's your boy, Rico. We'll see you again next week. And Jada Blackwell is wrong. I'm right. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Yo.